Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you all of my vehicles total that I have on both of the accounts. So it's my first account, and then I also have my second account. And yeah, I'm going to be showing you every vehicle I have, which is over 100 plus of them. So it's going to be a long video of me rating them. But yeah, so here we get on with the video. And remember guys, if you do enjoy this video, go drop a like on this video, because it did take a while. Well, the last one took a while, and I have a lot more vehicles now. So yeah, and then also subscribe, because we're on the way to 7,000 subscribers. So here we get on with the video. Okay, so the first one that we have right here is this Ford from the car show that I bought, which is pretty awesome. I'm going to rate this a solid um, 8 out of 10, because I like the detail they put into this with the tanks and everything, which I'm not going to go into the same detail with every vehicle. It's just, yeah. So I was going to try to make the diesel um car from West in person. Um, yeah, but... He couldn't put a head sack on it, and I know it's an older Mustang, but you guys get the point, so, yeah, I tried to, but yeah, so it turned out pretty good, now I kind of made it a drag car, so next one right here is this, I don't know why I made it so wide, I'm gonna, when I, um, mess with this thing again, I'm gonna put its tires in a little bit for, um, further in, because this is kind of a lot too wide when you look at it like this, but yeah, I put in a lot of detail to this, and I made it this one myself, so yeah, I based it off one of the people's I've seen, uh, um, map <laughs> on my left. Okay, so this one right here, you might recognize it. It used to say original C3 on the front and stuff, but I kind of just made it an old looking vehicle like this. And yeah, it's just like a cool little SEMA build. And I think it's pretty awesome. And I'm going to rate this a solid um, 8 out of 10. It looks pretty awesome. Okay, so right here we got a U Haul thing, which it used to be a realistic one. Um, I kind of got bored, as you can see. And it's kind of like a big monster truck now. But yeah, it's a U-Haul vehicle. Just a little bit upgraded. Um, here's this one. It's another old kind of vehicle. It's another old Ford. And yeah. So we straight axled it. Which, it kind of looks a lot squatted. Actually, it is a lot squatted. I didn't even mean to do that. Man, this thing's a lot of squatted. And I never even realized. But anyways. Um, yeah. I have a cool little American flag on it. I really do like the rears on these when they um, have the bumper repeat. Um bumper repeat, bumper, um, takeoff, because it does have a little cool roll pan on it, which is pretty awesome, um, right here is this, is, I bought this from the Offer Dallas Car Show, a Valvoline, um, race car, so, yeah, it's a NASCAR, it's pretty awesome, and I changed the rims on it, but that's about all, here's another one that I bought, which I probably changed the rims on this too, if I'm guessing, and, yeah, here's another Camaro, this thing is awesome, I do like it, but this was from the Offer Dallas Car Show, so I didn't do much, so, yeah, you can go check out that, um, here's just a boat all the way upgraded with a trailer, and yeah, I just wanted that kind of boat. Um, U.S. Army vehicle, I actually bought this one too, which I bought it, and I was like, huh, I can make this better. So I deleted everything off of it and read it. So yeah, there was no point of me doing it. <laughs> Buying it. Um, okay, so right here is a Bronco that I bought from the Offer Dollars Limited. Um, yeah, this thing is pretty awesome. I do love this thing. And, and you guys comment down below, um, which one do you guys like better? Old Broncos or new Broncos? Which new Broncos are okay? Like the, um, not the sport kind, uh, like actual full size. But I do like old Broncos. Nothing will be old Broncos. But yeah, this thing is pretty awesome looking. Um, okay, so right here is an older Chevy. Which this thing is just, it has this weird suspension tune on it. So it just keeps going up and down forever. Without the tires bouncing, the suspension just bounces. Which, yeah, it's a weird looking vehicle. But yeah, this also was my first vehicle on Offered Outlaws. So that's pretty awesome. And I still have it. It's just been a lot of things. You just have those ugly flames on it. Here's a trailer. Okay, here's this Evil Knievel thing, which I also bought this. You'll see there's a lot of vehicles. I bought 23 vehicles, like you see down there. The Evil Knievel is from a limited time, which I've seen this and like, I have to get this. I don't even have a dirt bike, or not much dirt bikes on here. And this thing looks awesome, so I was like, okay, I need it. Okay, so right here, this thing is actually pretty quick. I can do, like, 210 in Stump Park, I think. Which, I have some, I made some random tune for it. I was just gonna tune it. The first tune I put into it, I somehow did really good. And yeah, it doesn't spin at all, so it has really good traction and everything. So it does go pretty fast. Okay, right here, this is also, it's either Bro Camino or the other one. No, it's a broken meaning that goes faster. Um, yeah. So, it's a little broken meaning that I made. 
So I seen, I didn't see like a good one off that was car show, so I made one myself, and I think it turned out pretty well. And I'm going to rate this one a solid 8 out of 10, because it's really good. Okay, so right here is the bro dozer. so I have another thing from the um, Diesel Brothers, which this one's all pretty awesome. I changed the tires on it, made it more off-road style, but yeah, I do like this, it's pretty awesome. Um, okay, so right here, this is my other El Camino. If you wonder how I got more El Caminos than just one, I bought some, so there you go. Um, yeah, I changed tires and stuff on it, and it made it, in my opinion, look so much better than it did. Because the tires on it before were, like, not too good. And then, yeah, this is the Halloween theme. So here we go. Next one is an off for Dallas four-wheeler. off for Dallas four-wheeler. Duds. Of course, it's off for Dallas on it. But, yeah, so we got a winch on it, and, yes, it's a little cool dirt track one. So, yeah, pretty cool little trail rider. Um, here's my Can-Am X3, I think. Maverick, right? It's something like that. I completely don't remember. But, yeah, it's a two-seater, and it goes pretty fast. It's pretty awesome. Um, okay, so here's a Ghostbusters one. This one's from one or... Uh, it's been a full year. Oh, a little better, whatever. Um, yeah, it's been a full year. Since I bought this, and yeah, it's pretty awesome. Um, here's this quick little thing. I made this in like one minute. The eyes change, which is pretty cool. And yeah, it's just a whole bunch of like skulls and crosses and stuff. Um, here's another Halloween themed trailer that I made over a year ago. Here's another one that I bought. Um, yeah, it's pretty awesome. It's a Night Stalker, they call it. And I changed tires on this one too, because in my opinion, these look better than what was on it. And yeah, it's a little sporty thing. Um, here's another one that I bought from Unlimited <laughs> Vehicles. Um, yeah, it's a little, um, side-by-side, -side, which I forgot what kind this one is, but it has, like, the full roll cage and stuff, and it's, like, a dirt track one. This is pretty awesome. Um, I think it's, um, no, it's not a Honda. Maybe it, I don't know. It kind of has the same headlights as the older T-Rexes, though, but I don't know for sure. Um, so here's this Jeep right here. It's just a nice crawler Jeep, four-wheel steering, everything, straight axled, and yeah, it looks awesome. Okay, so here's my tow truck. This is when the update came out. I just lifted one up and made a full-on monster truck, which kind of turned into a fail because it's pretty slow. Okay, so here's this one. Um, this is just a quick another vehicle that I built, which, that's pretty awesome. I have twin turbos on it and stuff, and yeah. So right here is another 6x6. Six six. Uh, this one goes actually really fast. And, yeah, little tiny tires, but it still does good. And, yeah, with American flag wrap. Okay, so here's a little tiny tire Tesla. I love saying tiny tire Tesla. Um, which, yeah, it's a tiny tire Tesla. Pretty explanatory. That just goes pretty fast. And, yeah, it's pretty awesome. Um, here's another one. Same thing. Just a little bit faster, this one. Okay, so here's my Duke's Hazard crawler. Monster jerk truck. Monster car. Which, yeah, I mean... I made this Dukes of Hazard, and I think I actually did pretty decent. I based it off one of the ones in the car show, and yeah, which actually generally is from movies and stuff. But anyways, um, yeah, this one looks pretty awesome. I lifted it, and yes. Yeah. Okay, so a trailer, don't really care. Oh, uh, this one's been in a lot of my videos. Uh, you guys can go check those out. Just search original C3 beach ball, and yeah, I made a whole bunch of videos on this big beach ball, which is pretty crazy. I love making videos on it. And yeah, it's just a giant peach ball that I can drive around. Okay, so here's this. This vehicle just bounces 100 feet up, and it just keeps bouncing on forever. Okay, so this is one of the barn finds. Which one in the world happened inside of my fender? It's just like... Black. <laughs> Let me see if that's just a glitch. No, I don't know what happened. But anyways, yeah. Um, That's kind of bothering me. They should fix that. Um, Yeah. I made it, I seen everyone making gasser styled, so I was like, okay, I'm gonna change it up a little bit and make some awesome crawler that nobody has. Okay, so right here I have a jet ski with a random rocket on the front. Don't ask why I have that, it's just, I don't know. <laughs> okay, so here's another one that I bought. <coughs> um, it's a Mustang, it's call off, it says 69, and yeah, I think I actually put the number 69 in it, because, you know, that's better than whatever number is in it before. Um... <laughs> So, yeah, it's a little cool track one, and it's fast. It's pretty good. Um, here's my little YouTube one. I made my logo, which I actually did pretty decent on my logo, I think. I put the YouTube symbol on it. I made my own windows. As you can see, the back windows. And I put a license plate on it. 
And yeah, this thing's pretty awesome. Okay, so here's another bat that I bought from Limited Vehicles. Um, yeah, it's a nice little army jeep. Uh, and you know what's actually pretty cool? Um, this Friday, the one in our garage, a 1943 army jeep, is actually going to be getting fixed up because it needs um, new transmission seals. So yeah, and it's going to be ready to run again. Yeah, we have a 1943 Ninja um, shop. I mean, not shop, well, garage. Um, if you guys want videos on that one, it's all done. Um, yeah, a real life one. Okay, so here's this thing. It actually, it just drifts because it's uh, um, back touching the ground. But yeah, it just drifts around. It's a nice little drift vehicle, and I purposely started making it ugly. Okay, so here's Monster Max 2.0, which I think it's pretty decent. I don't know about the color matching, but yeah. Okay. For the next one, we made a tractor out of the Jeep over here, which we tried to make a John Deere, but is it that good? I don't know, but... Okay, so here's another power wagon. It's a Dodge. Wait. Yeah, it's a Dodge, right? No, that's a Chevy. That's a Dodge. That's a Chevy. No, Chevy. No, Dodge power wagon. Right? Okay, you guys can go comment that down below. Um, I don't know what you guys are talking about. And yeah, it's just a little cool one uh, for off-road and like to save vehicles. No, I clicked on trailers. Of course I did. So be back in a second when I'm on my normal... For that part, I accidentally ended the clip. But here we go, we're back with the car show. And for this, we got the cowboy hat, which is pretty awesome. And actually fits on a guy when he's sitting on there. So, yeah. And yeah, I accidentally ended the clip, so whatever. Um, okay, so this is a DMX vehicle, because DMX died. And then this is the vehicle that they carried his casket in, so I built it. And yeah, it looks pretty awesome. Okay, so here's another one that I bought from probably Limited, I'm guessing. And yeah, so it's from Drag Week. It's a uh, old Bel Air, and yeah, pretty awesome. Um, here's a transformer that I bought from Alfred Al's car show. But yeah, I like it. It was a good deal, and yeah, I can see why it won. This probably took a long time. And yeah, so here we go. And guys, if you are enjoying this video so far, go drop a like and subscribe. But yeah, if you're still watching this part, okay. So right here, there is a cool little um, what is it called? Oh my, how can I not remember? M military, Marine, whatever thing. Uh, um, yeah. So, it's one of those little drag cars. I built a drag car. Well, I actually bought this one from, uh, off of that was limited, believe it or not. Um, but, yeah. I bought it, and it looks pretty awesome. Okay, so here's a Fox body. It's a little drag car. Got the tires tucked all the way up. And, yeah. So, pretty awesome. So, for this one... It's just a dirt bike, which this thing can actually willy some. You just have to turn weird and it willies. I don't know if you guys want to tune on it, go comment that down below. So here's this one. I actually built this one. It's a fuel tech. And yeah, I put a little logo slap on the side of it. And it's a tundra. And yeah. Okay, so here's a low rider. It hops. If you know what that is, it's just a low rider. And yeah. So I just put some weird design on it because I really couldn't think of a design. But that's good enough for now. Um, Here's this one. It's a dual EGMC like I have. And, yes, yeah, thing's pretty awesome. I like it. And it's our next one. Um, this has a Toyo tires on it. And, well, that's what it says. It's Monster Energy Pro 9499. It's a nice new Super Duty, which, that's pretty awesome. I like it with the rims and everything. Um, here's a little off-road one I have. It's a... Um, it's either, you can change the front grille on it, but it looks more like Camaro now. Um, yeah, I took the roof off it, I made it convertible, and yeah, it's a little off-roader. Um, here's another one, it's a dually, which nothing special, it's just lower down this one. For this one, it's a boat, that's just a C3 on the back with a flag. This is the first gen, which, I like this first gen, this thing's pretty nice. I like, first gen Dodges are probably my favorite year, or not favorite year, favorite gen of the Dodge. Um, okay, so for this one, we got an older, um, Chevy right here. And, yeah, I like the paint that I put on it. I like the rims and everything. It makes it look tough. So, yeah, pretty awesome. Um, for this one, it's old Nova. And, yeah, look at this thing. It's pretty awesome. And I have the exhaust shooting out, which now they can actually shoot out flames, which is pretty cool. And then it says subscribe to your original C3 on the back. I kind of made, I tried to make a soft top, but then it turned into his design. But, yeah. So for this is a Raptor that was based off something in the Offered Alice car show. I forgot what it was. But it looks pretty awesome. Um, trailer. 
Here's another SEMA truck kind of thing that I built with an older body styled Ford. Um, here's this one. I bought this one, but changed some stuff up from off at house car show. And yeah, pretty awesome. Um, here's another one that was actually, I actually did pretty good at recreating the one from off at house car show. Or maybe I did buy this. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I think I built this one, which this one is pretty awesome. Um, here's another old one I had. This one, I vehicle I had for a long time. That's changed up multiple times. But yeah, here's a grave digger that I bought from the Offered House Car Show. Here's an nope, auto parts car that I made. Um, here's a two-toned, which I did a horrible job on making that two-toned. Look at that. <laughs> but here's this trailer, which I think I actually have some Amazon Prime on it. And an Amazon Prime drag van. Ford Ranger, which when I was talking about, oh, I want a Ford Ranger to come in off it. I was just talking about an old one, which I think an old one would be pretty cool. Um, here's this one. I made this one, which I made it off the Mustang. It should be right here. Yep. But I made this one. I popped this one from limited time. And yeah, I th think I like this one better still, though. But yeah, so here we go. Here's a Monster Energy, another one. Here's a raw crawler that can climb up literally like 90 degree angles. I made a video on that. Here's the one from the Alfred Alice Car Show, which I really do like this one. Um, yeah, it's an older Nova, and it's pretty awesome. I wish we could do, like, different exhaust um, pipe types, though. Like, coming out of the fenders and stuff, that'd be pretty awesome. Like how their other game has it. Um, this is a Willy four-wheeler, which I made a video on this one, too, to show how the tune. And, yeah, a lot of people made the same tune videos, but whatever. Um, here is this one. It's a nice, um, older Chevy, which, I don't know why, because in a new update, it automatically put tow mirrors, which, I'm probably gonna put the old tow, or the old mirrors back on it, but I think it looks fine, but, mm. um, okay, so right here is the van, it's a military dude shooting a bomb with flame coming out of his gun when he's firing it, and then, like, dirt exploding everywhere with American flag, this is pretty awesome. Um, yeah, so it's like a local scene, with the U.S. Army and the American flag on the back. Um, okay, so for this one, it's, like, just a very soft suspension monster truck, which is a pretty cool flatbed. Um, this one my dad has made. It's called a Mud Duck, I think they call it, which, okay, yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, here is this, a side-by-side, -side, um, that my dad also made. Um, here's this cat one. It's diesel powered, which I don't know. I think I also remade this one after I bought it. But, yeah, um... Trailer Bass Pro Shops, which I just made slapped another logo on it with my logo. But yeah, I never really finished the other side. But it's pretty cool, Bass Pro Shops. I made that for a video showing how to build it. Um, okay, another trailer, which I actually have a lot of these little trailers and I don't even know I did. <laughs> um, here's KMC Wheels, Red Bull, which I actually based this one off of the thing. Off the ones in off for car show, but yeah. Red Bull, um, Domino's, which, Domino's Pizza, I'm probably gonna end up making this one giant again, like the other, and then, yeah, that's all the vehicles for this account, now we're gonna go and go to the other account, so be back in a second. Okay, guys, so here we are on other account, and, yeah, so we have 37 more vehicles, which, some of them aren't, like, um, what is it, like, actual belt, they're just stock vehicles, because of how I did the um, offer that was glitch on here, hack. But yeah, so the first one that we have here is a Bronco that I made recently. It's a little sporty one. And yeah, it's just a fast little Bronco I made, which I think it looks pretty good. And yeah. Um, here's another one I made. It's a wide body on offer that was, which is pretty cool. Well, kind of a wide body, or just wide fenders. Well, that's kind of what a wide body is. But yeah, and then I made like a sunroof trying to thing. And yeah, I like how you can actually tint the headlights on this vehicle. I do like it. Um, okay, so here's a Toyota 4Runner. Which I don't even know if it's a 4 real 4Runner. I just guessed and was like, oh, I think it is. Um, which original C3's on it. Uh, here's this little thing. I love making these, and they're really fun to make. I made a video on this, too. Um, it's a little sporty, um, what is it called? Wait, why is that not to the other side, too? See, this? Um, front steering. Or does it only go to one side, and I never noticed that. No, it should go to both sides. Right? <laughs> um, so yeah, it's kind of like a dune buggy, which is really good for rock crawling and stuff. It has very flexy suspension and stuff. So yeah, 
Here's second gen dodge. I kind of ruined it. I just lifted it up for no reason all the way up. Same with this one right here. It used to look good until I lifted it up for no reason. Okay, so here's another first gen dodge, which I make all these things look the same. But, you know, it looks pretty awesome. Uh, here's this one. It's a golf cart. It's like a very lifted up one. And, yeah, it's just a monster golf cart. Um, here's this one. I was gonna do, I wanna do a derby video sometime with, um, get a whole bunch of fans out. And then do, like, a derby contest. But, yeah, it's pretty awesome. Um, here's this. It's a Hulex Toyota kind of thing. But, yeah, it's just a little, um, off-road dune, oh, not dune buggy, um, rock crawling style. And then right here, I think I got another Forerunner, which is another rock crawler kind of styled, which has snorkel and stuff, so I can't go in deeper water. But, yeah. Um, here's this. It's a power wagon, again. Um, it's put a camper on the back, which this thing looks pretty awesome. And, yeah. Okay, for this one, it's a trailer, which I put the doors on it and stuff, so it looks pretty decent. Um, here's just a lower down new dually. Um, Ford F-350, because it's a dually, right? Yeah. Um, so here is this one. It's an older Ford, which it does look pretty awesome. And, yeah, older Ford, dually. Here's this one. I seen some person on Offered Outlaws. I mean, not Offered Outlaws. TikTok, that was like, I had the widest vehicle on Offered Outlaws. So, I kind of, um, had a little vehicle go, wee, all very wide. <laughs> Yeah, but it looks horrible. Uh, here's a boat, which, uh, yeah, it's a boat. I wanted one. Um, here's a little race, um, four-wheeler that I was making really low to the ground. Would not recommend. Um, here's another little sporty, um, rock crawler kind of thing that I built, which it looks pretty awesome. It's one of the Jeeps that no one uses in a rock crawler section, but yeah. Boat trailer, um, older square body, which this thing looks really nice in my opinion. I do like it. Before you guys say it's squatted, the rear fender is lower than the front fender. <laughs> um, here's this one. It's another race boat. Um, I got a dually right here. I got a Bronco right here. Uh, like, I don't know. I wish you could paint that black, the little shiny part there. But I had to put in the chrome rims to, like, blend it in with it. Here's another old square body. Just a little work truck. Um, here's this, like, Harley kind of thing I was trying to make. Didn't really turn into it, but it does work pretty decent. Um, here's this one. My cousin built it for me. And, yeah. It's a whatever that thing. Um, here's another. I think it's Suzuki, maybe? But, yeah. Um, I put the snorkels and stuff on it. Pretty awesome. Here's this. It's the, just, one of the four-wheelers. I can make really long, but I shortened it up and lifted it. So, that thing actually has a lot of ground clearance. Okay, so right here is the second gen Dodge. It's pretty cool. Uh, I don't know what I feel about this build, but it's pretty good. Here's a cat eye that I made. It's a diesel Duramax. And then we got a Range Rover over here, which... Man, the front tires are really in there and the rears are not. But here's another Hulex Toyota. This video is really making me tired. <laughs> it's a lot of talking. And then I think our last one is this Bronco right here, which is a diesel... And yeah, never mind. That's not our last vehicle. Um, yeah, but it's a diesel, which is pretty cool. And yeah, it's just a little rock crawler. Here's this little blazer. Here's this little tired tiny Tesla. Here's this Monster Max 1. And finally, we are done with all the vehicles that I have on offer to Hellos. And I've deleted a lot. So yeah, guys, remember, if you did enjoy this video, remember to go drop a like on it. Let's try to get 50 likes, because this is a long video deal. And remember to subscribe because we're on way to 7,000 subscribers. So appreciate every single one of you guys watching. Very much appreciate it. And thank you. And all have a good day.